on an all-new Dr. Phil. She earned a college scholarship, but now... I am the best dancer in the world. She wants to be a hip-hop dancer. You're in professional training? I professionally teach myself. Will Lady Gaga's choreographer think she has what it takes? You said she fought back instead of took the coaching. My feet hurt. This doesn't work. My hair. I think that he would love to work with me again. With an ego and an attitude like that, no one wants to work with me. Today's going to be a changing day in your life. You've never had anybody working harder to bring you to the threshold of change than right now. Before every show starts, we'd like to have a good time with our audience by getting to know them with games and sometimes dancing. And it's fun for me to be backstage where I can check in on what's going on. Well, look at this. My guests today are on stage dancing. Now, that's Laura. She's 67, single, loves to dance, but her daughters would rather her be at home being a grandma. And that's Sarah Joy. She is so confident she's going to become a dance legend that she's going to quit college to pursue her dream. But her Listen to this while I head the stage and start the show. This is Sarah Joy. So I'm sure you've heard that my dad thinks I'm delusional, but it's not true. He's actually delusional. And the only reason that he says I'm delusional is because I'm so amazing and talented that it's overwhelming and it scares him. Like, okay, so I have several skin tight cat suits that I wear like to the grocery store or just running everyday errands. And like, well, everyone stares at me, but I mean, let them stare. Like their own reflection ain't doing much. And he just like hates that I wear them, but it's like, I gotta be ready to perform at all times because like I dance everywhere. Like if I'm walking down the street, if I'm walking down the sidewalk, I'm gonna start dancing right then and there because the sidewalk is my stage. Because if you're here and I'm here, then I got an audience. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I gotta perform. Like I'm a legend in the making. Like I'm the next Beyonce. Now, our studio audience had no idea, but some of the women they just saw dancing during the warm-up are actually two of our guests today. They say their families are unsupportive of the way they want to live their lives. Now, Laura says that she loves to go to her local bar, meet men, and dance the night away. But her two daughters say she has been married not once, not twice, not five, not six, not seven, but ten times. And that's enough. <laughs> and we're going to talk to Laura and her daughters a little later, but first, like Laura, 20-year-old Sarah Joy loves to dance and just wants to pursue that dream instead of what her dad wants, which is to take advantage of her full-ride scholarship to college and become a lawyer. Take a look. The local college student just would not take no for an answer. My future really was hanging on the slim chance that I won a big scholarship. A federal Pell Grant paid for Wake Tech, but without the means to go beyond a two-year degree, she needed a scholarship, and a big one. So she started applying with essays. I never give up. And she didn't. I won the biggest scholarship in the nation. Like, I was just crying. I couldn't believe it. As the scholarship actually provides full funding, full tuition to any university. And the motto to this story? A winner, a winner is only a loser who tried one more time. What an accomplishment. I mean, Sarah Joy says now her dad is pressuring her to follow his next dream, Harvard Law School. But that's not what she wants to do. I am the best dancer in the world. The world just doesn't know it yet. Sarah always planned on going to Harvard to receive a law degree. Then suddenly, she got this idea that she wanted to become a hip-hop dancer and possibly leave school. I'm majoring in psychology, but you know what? A psychology lecture has never helped me improve my fuerte turns. It has never improved my leaps. It has never made my hip-hop dancing more hipper. Sarah has a $500,000 scholarship. It covers tuition, food, housing for undergrad and grad school. I won every award, every honor, national titles, took the SAT in the seventh grade, honor roll all throughout high school, full ride scholarship to college. And I was just like, wait, I don't have to do this. I can do whatever I want. And I want to be a dancer. 
I thought she was joking. She hasn't had any professional training, so she's just mediocre. 100% self-made, self-taught, natural talent. I am every single type of dance. I even do tap. And like Irish, African, Arabian, hip hop, ballet, and then my own little freestyle, you know what I'm saying? I do it all. When you're at the level that I'm at of greatness, of prodiginess, of goddessness, the success and the money will come. It's inevitable. It's a ridiculous idea that's going to ruin her life. Okay, it's good to meet y'all. Nice to meet you. How do, how do you know that you're a great dancer? It oozes out of me. I'm watching you, you here and... I'm uh, much better than that, though. Well, That's just I like can't. a little bit... That just scrapes the surface, surface of my greatness. Well, I, I couldn't do that on my best day, so I'm not going <laughs> to... I can do I'm that in heels with my eyes closed. I'm not going to critique it, because I, I mean, I, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but you have a passion for it, is your point. I mean, you feel it inside. You Absolutely. love this. Absolutely. Just passion like a river. It just flows yeah. out of me. You're in professional training? My own professional training. I'm a professional and I professionally teach myself. So I just train in my dorm. It's just a little space, like two feet wide, two feet this way, two feet that way. And I'm always working and perfecting my craft and stretching and doing it all myself because I don't, you know, I don't have any teachers. I don't have any choreographers, but that's okay because like I'm like a one woman show. Like I can do it all. So everything I do, I'm self taught and but I'm just awesome. But don't you think you need training? I have training. Because I've always Me. thought I was psychologically minded, but I felt like I would go get 15 years of training to kind of go with that. Yeah, I do. I would like training to just, you know, hone what I have, like the natural talent there. And you think this is a higher form of insanity? Yes. Yes. Yeah. I mean, she has a full ride scholarship in right. college, and she wants to become some hip hop dancer. Okay, and you say some hip-hop dancer like you smelled something really bad in the room <laughs> when you said that. Well, I mean, a hip-hop dancer, what kind of career is that? You know, I taught them to go to college and, and study, and that's what she did, and now she's making a complete left turn and going a different direction. Okay, so you think right that she's direction. just not using her skills and abilities, yes. that she has work to hone? Yes. Right. You're obviously really smart, right? Mm-hmm. And yeah. so you... But as great as my intelligence is, my dance talent is even greater. This does a comparison. These are your dance accomplishments. Um, <laughs> okay. Now, here are your academic accomplishments. Uh, seventh grade, uh, Duke University Medal for SAT and ACT. High school, 4.0 GPA, honors. 2018 scholarship, full ride to any college. You applied 73 times, would not take no for an answer. 2018, uh, $5,000 scholarship from a law firm. Fall 2018, GPA 3.75. Spring 2019, uh, college GPA 3.75. I mean, when you compare them side by side, uh, it looks like you're a lot more accomplished this way. What's wrong with using these skills and abilities to underwrite your passion in dancing. I would beg to differ. Actually, the dance accomplishments list is a hundred times longer. Like, it rolls all the way out. Like, longer oh, than whoa. Santa's list. Listen, I got somebody because, back there with a the typewriter. Let's fill them in. Because I can see my future. You can't see my future. Mm -hmm. I can see my future. I can see what I'm going to accomplish. That's only my past. Look at how short the list of my past is. The list of my future rolls out that door. And listen, I, I'm not saying that you that you can't and won't be a great dancer. H how are you going to afford that? I mean, I didn't think through that, but I'm sure like something <laughs> will come to me. You realize that you 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 may have to have a job to support. Dancing is your, my job. You have to have a plan to feed yourself during the, only the transition. Thing I'm worrying about worrying about feeding is my passion. Your passion don't eat much, but you <laughs> have to have a place to live. You've got to have food, you've got to have a way to sustain yourself. I will. Dancing will sustain me. It will, will do more than sustain me. Do you me. have it an will agent? Make me thrive. No. Do you have a manager? Me. Do you know how much dancers get? No. 
But that doesn't matter. It's about the art. Next, <laughs> Russell says Sarah Joy is rubbing off on her younger sister. We're going to find out how when we meet her next. I want to express myself through fashion, through makeup, and being in college just wasn't the way for me. Sarah has uh, influenced my daughter Leah into quitting school. I almost fainted. This is our chance. Keep her alive. Save who you can save. No one's gonna find us, right? Everybody I have cared for has either died or left me. Run! There's no halfway with this. We finish what we started. Let the chips fall where they may. Tension's gonna fly. Everybody's dating each other, but everybody knows they're dating each other. Your directness is getting out of hand. Yeah. When I saw that, I was like, oh, well. If you're looking for a man, say amen. Amen. There are some things that I've heard. It's so embarrassing. Okay, sweetheart. Next. I think he's a fraud, and I don't think he's a good person. It's only gonna get worse. I ain't gonna do this with everybody. This is so much. Ready to love. New episode, Friday, 8, 7 Central. Do you want your man or not? Do you know your plans or not? You gonna go back home or not? You gonna claim your throne or not? Is you Khaleesi or that other <laughs> name I don't remember? Starting Friday, you gotta get with it or get lost. Ready to Love returns with new episodes, followed by the new series, All the Single Ladies. You ladies have decided? I am a prize. Friday at 8, 7 Central, part of Real Drama Week. Trouble sleeping? Somnipure melatonin gummies from Force Factor are the solution. Incredibly delicious Somnipure melatonin gummies will help you fall asleep faster, stay asleep longer, and wake up feeling refreshed. Rush to Walmart for Somnipure gummies from Force Factor. With Acorns, every time you spend, you invest. Buying a hot dog? That's investing. Getting gas? That's investing. Getting treats? That's investing. Start investing with just your spare change. What's your favorite NYX wireless bra? It feels like a second skin. For someone like me who's active with big boobs, the Catalyst is amazing. I feel so confident in my wing woman. The lift is great and it looks so smooth under my clothes. Find your favorite wireless bra today at NYX.com. Over 100 million Americans have a low credit score. Self is a new way to build credit that doesn't require a credit score. Plus, Self helps you save money every month and reports your payments to all three credit bureaus. Download the app today. People gonna talk in DC. They're claiming the Samuels are looking to divorce. Him and his dad are not speaking. Wait, 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 wait. Welcome. We're going to be out on our own little island called Peace. I'm going to go before I whip your ass. Your sisterhood just went out the window. I'm back. Then all of them. Because I don't talk again and again and again. Love and Marriage DC returns Saturday at 8, 7 Central. I can't believe we're cleaning LeBron's house. Hey there. Go. He got a hologram of himself just to give him compliments. You handled the decision to go to Miami perfectly. Nah. Now. How about we throw a party here? In the King's house. Are you not entertained? The only thing better than the game. You got it, bro. Is the after party. You good? We got a big problem. <laughs> Was it the Miami ring? Because y'all know he didn't deserve that. House party. Rated R. Now play. Even if I don't go to college, I'm still going to be successful. I have no fear. Fear is afraid of me. Sometimes you got to let go of the safe to catch greatness. Well, Russell says that his brilliant daughter, Sarah Joy, is destroying her life by walking away from a full-ride college scholarship with the potential of getting into Harvard Law School to chase what he says is a silly dream of becoming a professional dancer. Now, those are his words, not mine. And now he says that he's worried about his youngest daughter, Leah, because... Sarah Joy seems to be rubbing off on her, so she's now following in her footsteps. Take a look. 
My daughter Sarah has uh, influenced my daughter Leah into Queen School. I want to express myself through fashion, through makeup, and being in college just wasn't the way for me. Leah told me she wanted to model, and I just couldn't believe it. I, I almost fainted. My sister Leah, she is following her dream, much to my father's dismay. And he definitely blamed me. I'm like the ultimate rebellious child. Like, I'm the source of all evil. Well, Sarah and Leah just think that if they get on social media, that they're gonna become famous. They're not thinking in reality. My dad's mad that I'm rubbing off on Leah. She's blessed that I rubbed off on her. I'm like Rumpelstiltskin. Everything I touch turns to gold. My daughter Leah, oh, she doesn't have an agent or a job modeling right now. I think she is just crazy. My dad is going to be shocked when he sees how successful me and Leah are going to be. He's going to like have a heart attack. He's going to be there like gasping for air. Success is just going to rain down on us. Okay, Leah, thank you for being here. So your, your plan is to do what now? So I really want to model and express myself through fashion. Okay, and, and you're just in shock over here, right? Yes, yes, I just can't believe it. I just want to take him right back to college and, and tell him to get back to work. Uh -huh. And let me ask you this. Would you want your daughters to go to college, finish their degrees, and pursue careers that didn't make them happy? Uh, I just want them to finish school and have something to fall back on. You want them to get their education, but not necessarily pursue careers that they don't want. You just want them to have a fail-safe plan. You want them to have a credential. You want them to have something to fall back on if pursuing their dream doesn't pan out for them. Yes, yeah. You, you two are beautiful girls, obviously, and you, you've got personalities, you're articulate, you, you know what you want, you say you, you want to be in modeling, you want to be in dance, and I, I know people in both of those areas that are highly successful. So uh, there's no doubt in my mind that you can make a really great living doing this if you go about it the right way. What I'm saying is there's a difference between a dream and a goal, and the difference between a dream and a goal is a timeline, a plan, and accountability. Well, have you ever heard of Lady Gaga? Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, if, if you've gone Gaga for her elaborate and unconventional music videos, her tours, and her 2017 Super Bowl halftime show, Richie Jackson is the man behind her dance moves. He's been the superstar's lead choreographer and visual director for almost a decade. And he's here to put Sarah Joy through her first audition. Okay? Um, now, Richie is here, and he's waiting for Sarah Joy backstage to teach her some moves, the kind of moves that he does for Lady Gaga and her dancers. And then he'll bring her back right here on this stage for her first audition. And Breaking when we come out. back, we're gonna talk about another story of a woman who says, let me live my life. Then we're gonna get back with these folks later in the show. We'll be right back. My mom has been married 10 times to eight different men. I threw out my correction shoes so I could have dancing shoes, you know? I'm gonna have fun. As you know, I have a great admiration and deep respect for my good friend, Oprah Winfrey. That's why I'm so excited about her new book, The Path Made Clear, Discovering Your Life's Direction and Purpose. It truly could be a game changer for you because if anyone is living her purpose, it's Oprah. Oprah has collected all the lessons she's learned from thought leaders like Eckhart Tolle and Brené Brown and high-profile innovators like Jay-Z and Lynn manuel Miranda who understand what it means to achieve the life of your dreams. The Path Made Clear is available now, and it really is a guidebook to help you realize your true calling and start living it. People gonna talk in DC. They're claiming the Samuels are looking to divorce. Him and his dad are not speaking. Wait, 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 wait. 
Welcome. We're going to be out on our own little island. It's called peace. I'm going to go before I whip your ass. The sisterhood just went out the window. I'm back. Then own them. Because I don't talk that again and again and again. Love and Marriage DC returns Saturday at 8, 7 central. To Beth for telling us about Peptiva Nighttime Probiotics. To Beth. Beth. Welcome, ladies. You know, the best thing about Peptiva is that I can digest food like a kid again. No, the best thing is that I get to sleep like a kid again. Digestion. Digestion. Ladies, with Peptiva, you get both. Peptiva is the first doctor-formulated probiotic that works at night with key ingredients backed by seven clinical studies. And right now, you can get a complimentary sample by texting CUBE to 369369. Peptiva works while you sleep to soothe indigestion, cramping, bloating, even constipation while promoting digestive health and it has time released melatonin to help you get the best sleep of your life okay girls what do we have next week tacos wings chili <laughs> peptiva is flying off the shelves at gnc but you can only get your complimentary sample by texting cube to 369369 text now and we'll include a box of peptiva digestive enzymes to help your body digest meals and avoid occasional gas and discomfort absolutely free that's c-u-b-e to 369369 this is our chance. Keep her alive. Save who you can save. No one's going to find us, right? Everybody I have cared for has either died or left me. Run! There's no halfway with this. We finish what we started. Do you want your man or not? Do you know your plans or not? You gonna go back home or not? You gonna claim your throne or not? Is you Khaleesi or that other <laughs> name I don't remember? Starting Friday, you gotta get with it or get lost. Ready to Love returns with new episodes, followed by the new series, All the Single Ladies. You ladies have decided? I am a prize. Friday at 8, 7 Central, part of Real Drama Weekends on Home. He fooled everybody. Please don't let him have hurt somebody. What did you do first? Her mother. Why? Because I wanted her to hear. Evil lives here. All new season. Next Sunday at 9. Followed by Signs of a Psychopath. All new season on ID. Well, we saw 67-year-old Laura earlier when she was dancing right here on stage. She says she loves dancing and dating. Now, her two daughters, Valerie and Erica, say their mother has been married so many times, they've lost track. My first husband is Erica's father. The second husband, I married him twice, and that's Valerie's dad. My fourth husband asked for a divorce. My fifth husband, his teeth kept falling on. That was it. The sixth husband, I married him twice. Husband number eight, he was like 16 years younger than me. One day I come home, the house was empty. The ninth time I didn't know that he had shot and killed his wife. I got the marriage in love when he tried to strangle me. And the last one was to Roy, the love of my life. I was 60 years old when I finally found Mr. Perfect. I married him, three months later he dies of cancer. Well, Laura says just because she's 67 years old doesn't mean she's dead. So Laura got back on the dance floor and in the dating game despite her daughter's wishes. I love to dance. I love to meet people. Did you come here? Yeah. A couple of times a week? Yeah. But I live with my daughter, and she doesn't think that I should be bringing anybody to the house to take me out on a date. I have to set rules for my 67-year-old mom about not bringing random men to my house. She said, when are you coming back so we can go out? I have another guy texting me. No, you're not going to stop me. She may get mad, but that's just too bad. She'll get over it. My mom, she never takes the time to get to know them. When she brings them home, she still doesn't know who they are. Well, what am I supposed to do, take resumes? I don't really know somebody unless I marry them. My mom has been married 10 times to eight different men. The worst man was husband number nine. She actually lied to us and kept it a secret. He killed his wife. I honestly feel she keeps meeting random men. God forbid we're going to find her in a ditch one day. I'm not going to sit around in a rocking chair and rock my life away. No, I'm going to rock my life away dancing. 
Okay. It's good to meet you. Nice meeting you. And uh, you, you love dancing. Oh, yes. A and marrying. Uh, well, yeah, I guess you'd yeah. say. Why, why, why do you get married so much? Well, Dr. Phil, it's like this. Well, I was a Baptist, and my father raised me to say, uh, he told me, he says, daughter, do not go to bed with somebody unless you married them. <laughs> so I marry them. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> so you get to feeling frisky, and you just get some oh, papers filled out. Yes. Well, actually, you know. So hold on. We got to get some paperwork done here. <laughs> okay, now, go. That's your theory? No. Well, I mean, you don't really know somebody unless you marry them. I mean, you oh can date. Lord they Lord they wine and dine you and make you what feel like, oh, a million dollars. And then, <laughs> and then you marry them and it's, okay, no. And then you marry them and find out they killed their wife. <laughs> don't that, you think know. that ought to come up in conversation somewhere <laughs> along the way before? I mean, maybe that should go on I, your screener. Are you dating someone now? Answer the question. T two. <laughs> but they don't know it. Now, y'all's concern primarily is what? Is it for her safety? Is it that she's bringing men around the home? Is it, what is it? Yeah, her safety and my children. She met a guy who killed his wife, and she lied about it to us. He never uh, was mean to me or bad to mm -hmm. me. He wasn't. As really? Really? Drank. Then why, 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 where is he at right now? One time he just got drunk and what? that's what happened. One time is not acceptable at all. Well, that's why he's, not, he's in prison now. Coming up, Valerie has two house rules for her mother. She'll tell us about those next and hear what I have to say. <laughs> Closed captioning provided by... He fooled everybody. Please don't let him have hurt somebody. Who did you do first? My mother. Why? Because I want her here. Evil lives here. All new season next Sunday at 9, followed by Signs of a Psychopath. All new season on ID. All these young, untimely deaths. For your kid, fame can be poisonous. He shared with me something. Oh, I hesitate to even say it. The Price of Glee, three-part limited series. Monday at 9 on ID. Let the chips fall where they may. Tension's gonna fly. Everybody's dating each other, but everybody knows they're dating each other. Their directness is getting out of hand. Yeah. When I saw that, I was like, oh, well. If you're looking for a man, say amen. Amen. There are some things that I've heard. It's so embarrassing. Okay, sweetheart. Next. I think he's a fraud, and I don't think he's a good person. It's only gonna get worse. I ain't gonna do this with everybody. This is so much. Ready to love. New episode, Friday, 8, 7 Central. People gonna talk in DC. Yeah. Yo, we coming. They're claiming the Samuels are looking to divorce. Him and his dad are not speaking. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Welcome. We're gonna be out on our own little island for peace. I'm gonna go before I whip your ass. The sisterhood just went out the window. I'm back. Then all of them. Yeah. I don't talk again, again and again and again. Love and Marriage DC returns Saturday at 8, 7 Central. Do you want your man or not? Do you know your plans or not? You gonna go back home or not? You gonna claim your throne or not? Is you Khaleesi or that other <laughs> name I don't remember? I can't believe we're cleaning LeBron's house. How about we throw a party here? <laughs> we done messed up the koala. You good? What just happened? House party, rated R. This is our chance. Keep her alive. Save her, you can save. No one's gonna find us, right? Everybody I have cared for has either died or left me. Run! There's no halfway with this. We finish what we started.
tonight. I wish he didn't feel this way. I think Usman played my mom. Can we talk about the elephant in the room? What is the elephant in the room? Happily Ever After Tell All. No Limits. All new tonight at 8 on TLC. Right now I'm dating two men, but my daughters don't know it. And neither do the men know. <laughs> Look at all my calls. I'm having fun. I mean, they don't need to know. I mean, if this one doesn't work out, okay, come on. I'm going to enjoy myself till the day I can't anymore. One of the two guys that you're dating has been to jail. Yeah, but you didn't know that, did you? Why is it silent? Because I didn't know that. Exactly. Well, but you want to well, bring them around my children? Past. I mean, everybody but has you, a past. These men around you learn from your mistakes. Okay, but you, you, don't know what, your, no. you don't know when and you don't know what for, do you? Uh, so what if one of okay. them was a pedophile and you have them around my oh, seven-year-old daughter? No. How do you well, know that? You would want to know, know that, that, wouldn't you? So, you, could, so you would check you that just... out. Now, this the one that's been to jail, and I'm not even going to tell you which one because I want you to find out on your own. But I'm going to tell you that it was a long time ago. Okay. And it was pretty benign, not terrible. And the fact that it's been so long and there's been no repeat offenses probably speaks pretty well for the individual's character. You see? And so, but... You, but you don't but know. she married a murderer, but... Okay, okay. but hold, now listen. Don't be hard-headed here. Thank you. When you do find out information, you need to, you need to judge the information fairly and objectively. You want your mother to be happy and yes. to have some companionship. Yes. So mm -hmm. just agree that you don't need their permission to do it, so you're going to do it. Yep. So let's be transparent. And don't be negative the minute she drags somebody up. Let's just agree that the three of you are going to check the person out. Teach her how to use a search engine. How to put somebody's name in. Oh, how to do a, 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 a public record search. What am I supposed to do? Hey, well, wait, let me no, check you out first. Okay, yes. take me let me dinner. answer yes. that, and then we're going to stop here. Number one, you stay with them in a public place. Exactly. Until you know who they are and exactly. you've checked them out. And, and okay. if you go somewhere private with them, you make sure somebody knows where you are, when you're going, and when you're supposed to return. Yeah. And my wife, Robin, has created something called the Aspire app. And it's something that you put on your phone that is disguised as a news app. We don't show it. The, we don't want to tip off abusers, but there's a news app on there, and it is pre-programmed so that if you get uncomfortable, all you have to do is touch that, and then it opens up, and if you tap it three times, you don't even have to look at it. You just tap it three times, just bink, 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 it sends a pre-recorded and pre-typed message to people you have pre-selected oh. that says, I need help and I need it right now. Oh, okay. And it has a tracking device built in so they can find out exactly where you are. And Robin, th this is a perfect situation, right? Perfect situation, yes. Anyone suffering from domestic violence, sexual assault, uh, is what it was designed for, but we have been told now, and we know for a fact that it's been downloaded by parents for their children going away to college. Uh, and then those students, it's for anyone on uh, dating sites when they're going out to meet someone in a public place or private, they can tell their friends, I will be contacting you if this goes wrong. So it's being used by anyone, everyone across the country, and it's free. Oh, yeah, cool. So we're downloading that on your phone. Yeah, and, um, and you know, this has been recognized as one of the most powerful apps in the fight against domestic violence, been recognized on Capitol Hill, the United Nations, everywhere. All right, coming up, did choreographer Richie Jackson have a hard time teaching Sarah Joy, or is she the prodigy? Is, is she what he's been looking for? He'll tell us next, and she's going to perform right here. Captioning provided by. Let the chips fall where they may. Tension's gonna fly. Everybody's dating each other, but everybody knows they're dating each other. Your directness yeah. is getting out of hand. Yeah. When I saw that, I was like, oh, well. If you're looking for a man, say amen. Amen. 
there are some things that I've heard. It's so embarrassing. Okay, sweetheart. Next. I think he's a fraud, and I don't think he's a good person. It's only going to get worse. I ain't going to do this with everybody. This is too much. Ready to love. New episode, Friday, 8, 7 Central. People going to talk in D.C. Yeah. Yeah, They're claiming the Samuels are looking to divorce. Him and his dad are not speaking. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Welcome. We're going to be out on our own little island. It's called Peace. I'm going to go before I whip your ass. The sisterhood just went out the window. I'm back. Then all of them. Because I'm going to talk again and again and again. Love and Marriage DC returns Saturday at 8, 7 Central. To Beth for telling us about Peptiva Nighttime Probiotics. To Beth! Welcome, ladies. You know, the best thing about Peptiva is that I can digest food like a kid again. No, the best thing is that I get to sleep like a kid again. Digestion. Digestion. Ladies! With Peptiva, you get both. Peptiva is the first doctor-formulated probiotic that works at night with key ingredients backed by seven clinical studies. And right now, you can get a complimentary sample by texting BANK to 321321. Peptiva works while you sleep to soothe indigestion, cramping, bloating, even constipation while promoting digestive health. And it has time-released melatonin to help you get the best sleep of your life. Okay, girls, what do we have next week? Tacos? Wings? Chili! <laughs> Peptiva is flying off the shelves at GNC, but you can only get your complimentary sample by texting BANK to 321321. Text now and we'll include a box of Peptiva digestive enzymes to help your body digest meals and avoid occasional gas and discomfort absolutely free. That's B-A-N-K to 321321. I can't believe we're cleaning LeBron's house. How about we throw a party here? <laughs> Are you mad at the day? We done messed up the koala. You good? What just happened? House Party, rated R. Do you want your man or not? Do you know your plans or not? You gonna go back home or not? You gonna claim your throne or not? Is you Khaleesi or that other <laughs> name I don't remember? Starting Friday, you gotta get with it or get lost. Ready to Love returns with new episodes, followed by the new series, All the Single Ladies. You ladies have decided? I am a prize. Friday at 8, 7 Central, part of Real Drama Weekends on OWN. Something about the Playboy brand had a little bit more of a mystique to it. It's a ticket to the highlight. Not can you prepare you for that. The Playboy Murders, all new series, Monday, January 23rd at 10 on ID. Well, Richie Jackson has created a dance move for Lady Gaga's iconic music videos, her world tours, the 2017 Super Bowl halftime show, her Vegas residency, and the most talked about movie this year, A Star is Born. <laughs> so, welcome, my friend. Thank you. <clears throat> So will a star be born today with Sarah Joy? So uh, you've been backstage working with Sarah Joy. Yes. Uh, before I ask you about her specifically, dancing, mm -hmm. choreographed dancing, this takes a lot of work, doesn't it? Yes. If you just show up at somewhere to apply, whether it's on Broadway or to a show like you, like you when you're recruiting for dancers or whatever, and you've never danced anywhere, you've never had any training, you've not been in a show, mm -mm. what's the chance you've got no agent, you've got no manager, you've got no experience? What's the chance of you getting hired into a big-time show like Lady Gaga or something like that? No. You They'll wouldn't be... even get in the room to talk to you or somebody like no, you. No, because at my auditions, at least, there's at least a 1,000 people auditioning. Right. So you'd have to be one in a thousand to impress me with no training and just a dream and rolling off the side of your bed to make me be like, ah, yeah. no, there's no way. Yeah, okay. I'm not here to step on people's dreams. I think you should follow your passion, but do it realistically. You were in college and stopped to pursue dancing. Yes. And it took you, uh, you, you did a lot of training. It took you how long to get your first job? My first job came after six months. Uh -huh. I had to train, I had to take classes, I had to get noticed. And then after that, finally I got my first job yeah. dancing with Will Smith, but it was a long, 
time. And how long had you been dancing? Since I was three. Since, since you were three? Since I was three. I was dancing, I was learning choreography, I was already choreographing. It was what I loved to do, it was my passion. Yeah. yeah. So you didn't just start one day, you've been doing it all your life. So how did Sarah Joy do? So initially when I first started to teach her the steps, I taught her as fast as it would be at an audition and she couldn't get it as first. She couldn't get it as fast, she didn't pick up the style or the vibe. And I was like, you'd have been cut already. She wanted to show me what she would do, and I'm like, yeah, but as a dancer, you need to go in there, learn the choreography, and then deliver it back immediately. And if you can't, you'll be cut. So she would have been cut? Yes, uh, 100%. She was complaining early on. Yes, and... complaining, we were on carpet, you know, she can't turn her heels. Uh, if I had more time, I could pick it up. And I'm like, you won't have time. We don't care if you're on carpet. We don't care about your heels. There's 100 plus people who want this job and we're only looking for two people. She did work hard. She did work hard, but it was a lot of getting her out of her own way. Because I would have never really encountered her fighting back. I'd have been like, thank you for coming. Yeah. Well, all right, we're going to see what she's got after the break. We'll be right back. I can't believe we're cleaning LeBron's house. Hey there. Go! He got a hologram of himself just to give him compliments. You handled the decision to go to Miami perfectly. Nah. Now, how about we throw the party here? In the King's house. Or you not at the team? The only thing better than the game. You got it, bro. Is the after party. You good? We got a big problem. Was it the Miami ring? Because y'all know he didn't deserve that. House party. Rated R. Now play. Something about the Playboy brand had a little bit more of a mystique to it. It's a ticket to the highlight. What can you prepare you for? The Playboy Murders, all new series, Monday, January 23rd at 10 on ID. I've decided to go to rehab. I'm still here, bitches. We got a big surprise. Gay just want to be a big brother. Thousand Pound Sisters, season premiere, Tuesday at 9 on TLC. I think it's my time to find love. I, I want to date younger men. I'm as sexual as I was in my teens. Where's all the men at? Here we go. It just got real. Turn it up now. Let the chips fall where they may. Tension's gonna fly. Everybody's dating each other, but everybody knows they're dating each other. Their directness yeah. is getting out of hand. Yeah. When I saw that, I was like, oh, well. If you're looking for a man, say amen. Amen. There are some things that I've heard. So embarrassing. Case we are next. I think he's a fraud, and I don't think he's a good person. It's only gonna get worse. I ain't gonna do this with everybody. This is so much. Ready to love. New episode, Friday, 8, 7 central. He fooled everybody. Please don't let him have hurt somebody. What did you do first? My mother. Why? Because I wanted her here. Evil Lives Here, all new season, next Sunday at 9, followed by Signs of a Psychopath, all new season on ID. All these young, untimely deaths. For your kid, fame can be poisonous. He shared with me something. Oh, I hesitate to even say it. The Price of Glee, three-part limited series, Monday at 9 on ID. This is our chance. Keep her alive. Say who you can say. No one's gonna find us, right? Everybody I have cared for has either died or left me. Run! There's no halfway with this. We finish what we started. People gonna talk in DC. Coming. They're claiming the Samuels are looking to divorce. Him and his dad are not speaking. Wait, 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 wait. Welcome. We're going to be out on our own little island. It's called Peace. I'm going to go before I whip your ass. sisterhood just went out the window. I'm back. Then all of them. Because I have to again and again and again. Love and Marriage DC returns Saturday at 8, 7 central. Push and a hop and hit, and cat, cat, get, get, uh, uh-huh, bye. No, I want to do my own thing. 
Now, this is the problem. If you do your own thing, you won't have the knowledge to grow up. I'm not Remember trying now. to hit your steps. I'm Remember trying to hit my five steps. And six and five, six, seven, eight. Give me a hug. Gag, 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 gag. On, on, on. Now, 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 and now. The confidence is great, but it's a little borderline egotistical, and that does not rise. Okay, so do your audition, whatever okay. you do. So let me see this. Here we go. It goes five, six, seven, eight. Give me one, and two, and three. Ready? Here we go. Let's try it. And five from the top. Six, and five, six, seven, eight. Give me one, and two, and three, four. Hit, hit, up, down, slash, hot, kahan, get, get, on. Again, five, six, seven, eight. Give me one, get, 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 get. Hit, cooch, cat, up, down, snatch, switch, around, hit, hit, high. Now give me a freestyle this time. And five, and six, and five, six, seven, let's work. Give me high, ga get, 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 and hit, high, uh-huh. Pop and uh-huh, around, get, get, uh, five, uh, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, five, six, give me a pose and freeze. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, all right, so. She has an area code, but does she have it precisely enough? No. Someone else would have came in there and nailed the exact style. And mm -hmm. what I mean by that is like, where the hands go? Why are we doing this? The head, the hands have to feel like out of nowhere, Fosse jazz, pop, pop. But then it's like shade, kick, around, hit, hit, uh. All right. And when you were working with her, you said she fought back instead of took the coaching. Yes. And that's not good. Because no one has time for that. I need to see yeah. steps, vibe, and energy. Not my feet hurt, this doesn't work, my hair, my this, my that. Uh -uh, uh -uh. What, you, what was your experience? I had a wonderful time working with Richie. I don't think I fought back at all. I think that I expressed... <laughs> I expressed how I would add my own style to it. I expressed how I would add my own flavor to it. Yes, but no. as you can see, I delivered exactly what he gave me, and I did it with full energy, and I think that he would love to work with me again. No. <laughs> you know you love me. I would have to see her. I would have to see her against a room full of professional, qualified dancers, and then I would know. Yeah. Because the reality is, like, even if she was the best dancer on the planet, with an ego and an attitude like that, no one wants to work with her. I think that it's sad that my confidence, that being a powerful, confident woman is mistaken for ego. All the other choreographers, we all know each other. So if I say, mm, mm-mm, because of uh, they'll be like, mm-hmm, and they will go. So, Russell, what do you, what do you think, Russell? I think um, she should stay in college. <laughs> <laughs> well, and you can minor in dance at college, right? No, I'm, everything I do is major, and I'm gonna majorly take over the dance world. It needs to calm down, like, we get it. You're confident, I'm confident, but I'm humble. I'm humble, too. <laughs> Coming up, a couple worried about the health and safety of their toddler. We'll meet them and find out why when we come back. Closed captioning provided by... Something about the Playboy brand had a little bit more of a mystique to it. It's a ticket to the highlight. Nothing can you prepare you for that. The Playboy Murders, all new series, Monday, January 23rd at 10 on ID. Tonight. I wish he didn't feel this way. I think Usman played my mom. Can we talk about the elephant in the room? What is the elephant in the room? Happily Ever After Tell All, No Limits. All new, tonight at 8 on TLC. Let the chips fall where they may. Tension's gonna fly. Everybody's dating each other, but everybody knows they're dating each other. Your directness Come here. is getting out of hand. Yeah. When I saw that, I was like, oh, well. If you're looking for a man, say amen. Amen. amen.
There are some things that I've heard. It's so embarrassing. Okay, sweetheart. Next. I think he's a fraud, and I don't think he's a good person. It's only going to get worse. I ain't going to do this with everybody. This is too much. Ready to love. New episode, Friday, 8, 7 central. He fooled everybody. Please don't let him have hurt somebody. What did you do first? My mother. Why? Because I wanted her to hear. Evil lives here. All new season. Next Sunday at 9. Followed by Signs of a Psychopath. All new season on ID. I think it's my time to find love. I, I want to date younger men. I'm as sexual as I was in my teens. Where's all the men at? Here we go. It just got real. Turn it up now. LeBron, he on vacation. How about we throw a party here? We in the king's house. Oh. Hey there. Bro. We gonna invite all the celebrities. Sweet back, baby Jesus. <laughs> How do you see how out of control this party is? Are you mad at the day? We done messed up the koala. You good? What just happened? House party. You handled the decision to go to Miami perfectly. Nah. Rated R. Now play. People gonna talk in DC. Yeah. Yeah, we coming. They're claiming the Samuels are looking to divorce. Him and his dad are not speaking. Wait, 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 wait. Welcome. We're gonna be out on our own little island. It's called Peace. I'm gonna go before I whip your ass. Sisterhood just went out the window. I'm back. Then all of them. Because I'm gonna talk again and again and again. Love and Marriage DC returns Saturday at 8, 7 Central. Do you want your man or not? Do you know your plans or not? You gonna go back home or not? You gonna claim your throne or not? Is you Khaleesi or that other <laughs> name I don't remember? Starting Friday, you gotta get with it or get lost. Ready to Love returns with new episodes, followed by the new series, All the Single Ladies. You ladies have decided? I am a prize. Friday at 8, 7 Central. Part of Real Drama Weekends on OWN. Well, it's time once again for our Ask Dr. Phil series where you get answers to your burning questions. My next guest, Laura, and her husband, Nick, have a five-year-old daughter and 15-month-old son. Like many young families, money is tight, and they wonder why all the high-quality children products are so expensive. Take a look. How'd you do at school today? It's very challenging juggling a career and two children while trying to keep the family on budget. Children are not cheap. We try to get the best value for our money. I've learned a lot about different wipes, and baby lotion, shampoos, and diapers are the most purchased product in our household. What did you dream about? We go through three or four cases a month. When we had our first child, we used cloth diapers, and having to save my sanity, I decided that disposables were better. Some diapers are made better than others. You haven't lived until you've changed a diaper blind at four in the morning, and there's mess all over the child's back. That's life right there. We find it very frustrating to try to get quality products and manage our budget with diapers because we're going through them constantly, and the quality ones seem to be very expensive. I appreciate Laura wanting the best for our family, just to save a little bit more money. I never thought in all my days I would be a diaper expert. Well, Laura is joining me, and Nick here is in our audience. Nick, how are you? Hello, good morning. Thank you both for being here. Um, <laughs> to save money, you use cloth diapers with your five-year-old? We did use cloth diapers with her. I didn't even know people still had cloth diapers. I, I mean, know. that was back when I, I was a baby, right? They've come a long way since the... Um, types that we had with the handkerchief and the safety pins. Yeah, yeah, I'll bet. So what would be your dream situation today when it comes to products for your children? So ideally, we would like to have products that are affordable and very high quality that are natural and safe for our kids. Right. And Nick, what are some of your concerns about the products you're buying for your children? Well, my main concern is when we purchase these cheaper brands, the ingredients are somewhat questionable and makes us wonder how safe they are for our children. There is a company that has stepped up to give you the best for your children without breaking the bank. And that company is called Hello Bello. And I have a couple of surprises for you guys. Uh, so come on out. We have a special helper today. Please welcome actress Kristen Bell. How are you? I'm wonderful. 
I think I'm so oh supposed gosh. to stand over here, so I'll stand over here. But you I can stand to anywhere you, you want, Kristen. Thank you. We'll Hi, move stuff around for you. Don't worry about it. Kristen, thank you so much for being here and help, helping to bring out the Hello Bello products. Thank now, you. Now, you all know Kristen because she's the star of the comedy series The Good Place. Yeah! Um, and she's also Miss Kick Ass Veronica Mars, right? Uh, okay. Well, Kristen and her actor director husband, Dax Shepard, have partnered with my son, Jay, actually, to create this new brand of baby and toddler products that I believe are the best. Kristen, what do you think? I would have to agree. Um, yeah, we, you know, we started this line because we live in Los Angeles and we can shop at all these boutiques with high-end products and I'm very diligent about what goes in at, and in and around and on my baby and we want this to be available for everyone but it's gotta be the right price point, right? No one should have to choose between their baby or their budget and my husband and I call us the mom and dad of this line and we decided that mom would choose what goes in the products and dad would choose the price points of the product. <laughs> right. So it's kind of the best of all worlds. They're um, healthy ingredients that you can feel safe using on your baby. You, you, having gone through this with your own children, you understand what these guys are dealing with and you can feel confident using Hello Bello on your children. Oh, I do. And I I, do. I've seen the science, and I'm telling you they are top quality, and you've seen it as well. Yeah, we put a lot of thought and effort into um, what should go into these products and why and how they're harvested, and we are very proud of what we created. Wow. And it has all of the essentials that you would need for your baby. There's shampoo and body wash. There's obviously diapers. We wanted to create a baby line that had a affordable prices. We want all of our family members, all of our friends that live all over the country to have access and affordability to the best stuff. Yeah. So, Laura, what do you think about this Hello Bello collection? I think it's the answer to the, the dreams of a lot of parents <laughs> that would like quality products at an affordable price. Well, look, the entire Hello Bello line is available at your nearest Walmart, or you can order them at walmart.com and have two-day free shipping on orders of $35 or more. And you can also sign up to get a convenient subscription to the products on hellobello.com. And um, I just want to say that Laura and Nick, we want to give you diapers for your daughter until she no longer needs diapers, which look, you don't rush them. Sometimes it's two, one of our kids, it's five. And all the rest of our Hello Prello products for a year. Oh my God. And audience, Hello Bello has a surprise for you too. Everyone in the audience, is getting a month's worth of diaper bundles. That's diapers and wipes shipped to you. If you, if you don't, if, if you don't have a little one in diapers, no worries, you can share it with a friend. And for those of you at home, you can enter to win a Hello Bello gift set called the Squeaky Clean Kiddo Kit. <laughs> and you can get details on how to enter at drphil.com or contest details are also available at hellobello.com. <laughs> all right, I want to thank all of my guests today and a very special thanks to Kristen Bell uh, for it. More information about today's show, log on to drphil.com. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and don't forget to subscribe to my new podcast, Fill in the Blanks. That's P H I L in the Blanks. Every Tuesday, a new episode drops, and here's a sneak peek of what's in store today. Hey, it's time for the Living by Design podcast, and I got a bulletin. Your life is riddled with bad guys. I'm talking about those that will screw you over, suck you dry, take what is yours, and not give it a second thought. And I am here to make sure that doesn't happen. So you need to listen to everything I got to say this week because this one matters to you and yours. Find Fill in the Blanks in your podcast app like Apple Podcast or Stitcher and subscribe for free so you don't miss an episode. Okay? We'll see you next time. Thanks so much. Go say hi to you.